just a brief illustration. Most everybody has seen an interior shutter. Well, I'm going to show you the way that I do them that most people like. Probably 90% of the shutters we do have this feature to them. This group of louvers is independent from this group of louvers. What this allows the homeowner to do is have privacy at what I call the living level and have it open at the top when they want that. Um, a lot of dealers don't know about this. We use it all the time. Matter of fact, we've even done this as a triple segmented shutter. We had a client a number of years ago, um, the Venuto family, and they had a transom window above the double hung. So I did one group, two group, third group, so they can operate those all independently. This morning, I'm gonna kind of cover the different shading products that are out there. I do a newsletter in-house, and one of the things that my current newsletter talks about is the way a free society like America allows people to innovate and improve things. I'm gonna illustrate that this morning with a number of products. We'll start out with a real staple of the industry. I've shown this sample before. This is a honeycomb shade, called so because it's got two layers of fabric. It, it was invented in 1981, basically as, as, as an answer to the ongoing energy crisis that was occurring. And uh, all of the home building industry was looking to reduce energy costs. This product is basically the same principle as a double hung window. Two layers of glass, you contain the air between them, it becomes an insulating product. But it was very limited. It came in about a dozen colors. The shade would go up and down. This is a cordless model. The original shades didn't have that. You had a typical cord on the side that you would pull to raise the shade. There was an inherent danger to that. Um, if you had a five foot window and you raised the blind up, your cord just grew by five feet, okay? And kids or pets would sometimes be attracted to that and became a potential hazard. The industry responded with a number of things. One was motorization, which is an ongoing thing. But they came up with this system, which uses this wand, which does not grow. And it was also designed to raise larger and heavier shades. It's a ratcheting system, simple as that. In fact, the Hunter Douglas Duet line, this is the default mechanization. You cannot get a Hunter Douglas Duet shade today with a typical cord lock, which is not made today. This product, while being great, didn't allow the customer, the homeowner, to be able to regulate the slats like a mini blind or a wood blind. And so the industry responded by coming up with this product, which I have also shown before, but this is known as a silhouette shading. This is a fabric slatted blind, which when you pull it all the way down, will rotate so you can have visibility. This is done very, very well. Uh, the one drawback of this is sometimes little critters will get into that. You might want to talk to Phil about that. But I found the way that to get them out is to take a, uh, like a small dowel, put a, uh, a cotton swab on the end of it, and just push the little bugger out the other end. So. Um, but this product also saw some great improvements over the years. You notice this was a light filtering fabric. It didn't really darken the room if you wanted total blackout. The industry responded, they came out with what they called light dimming, not room darkness. Still didn't answer the question. So recently, they came up with a piggyback system. What you have here is blackout shade behind it. So this will completely darken the room when you want that. During the daytime, you just raise that blackout shade up and you have your light filtering capability. You can get privacy with it by rotating the slats and then everything goes up. <coughs> One of the features that this shade had was you had that facing on the front and the back and it sort of re, you know, restricts the visibility a little bit. Brand new development, just came out this year is clear view. I'm gonna take it over to here so you can see. The shade on the right gives you much more visibility to the exterior. So for the homeowner who wants almost unobstructed visibility to the outside while still having great energy protection because you have the front and the back shading, they are going to cut down on the UV. So the shade will provide energy savings 
even in this open position. And now the homeowner who wants pretty much unrestricted visibility to the outside can achieve that. Now these shades, while having aesthetic capability, are more or less designed for function. They block the light, they give you privacy, they give you some insulating qualities. The industry has also responded with more aesthetic products, such as this shade is called Vignette. It's a Roman style shade. A Roman style shade has this waterfall effect of the fabric just sort of overlapping each other. This comes in a wide variety of materials, uh, tone on tone, stripes, things like that. And one of its great features is you have a very compact stack. Don't pay attention to this beat up head rail. Today they are covered with fabric so that it matches the shade itself. Another great feature of this shade is it doesn't have the typical cords down the back that sort of look ugly from the outside. And it has this non-growing uh, cord control on the side. So you don't have to deal with raising the shade five feet. Now you have five feet of cord spilling onto the floor. Now I'm going to show you one of the newer innovations. And this one is motorized. There we go. Okay, this is sort of a takeoff on this previous shade that I show you. It has a little bit of a Roman shade characteristic to it. But this one opens up. So it's kind of a fusion of multiple products that are out there. Uh, again, you're gonna have some energy protection because even with the shade open, you still have this backing on it, which is gonna cut down on the UV and, and on the glare of the house. Let's get this thing go up. Now we're gonna talk a little bit about fabrics. Uh, that's what I really started with. I uh, just wanna let you know that most of these products that you see here came onto the market since I got into the business. Duet is kind of the oldest shading product, came out in 1981, I was already in the business. I grew up in the fabric industry, doing draperies, treatments like you see here, like these swags and the shears and things. A couple different categories of fabric. This is the type of material that is appearing or appealing to the millennials today. Uh, they are sort of turning their back on traditional florals and very traditional types of designs. They like texture. They like monochromatic. You're not going to see any reds in here. You're not going to see any bronzes. You're not going to see bright greens. This is what the millennials like, and our industry is responding to that. Thank you for the, uh, the update on that. Um, lastly, I'm going to cut my uh, presentation short. Two homeowners living side by side. They both like the same types of treatments. They do similar colors and things like that. What sets one apart? Bling sets things apart. Just as I've used the illustration of when you're going out and the missus is all dressed up, she's got the black dress on, her hair's been done, her makeup's done, everything's right except the bling, the necklace, the, uh, the bracelet, something like that. This is what will make a window treatment very unique and make it stand out from the rest of, of what you're gonna see. Now for the important thing. How can you refer business to me? Well, obviously the homeowner, the business owner, uh, someone who might have a professional office, they want it to have a soft fabric appearance. They don't want just merely blinds. These are great referrals. But I also am looking for industry partners. I'm looking for architects. I'm looking for especially custom home builders, not the track builder. Custom builders are gonna have a little bit more flexibility. We love to get in at the beginning of the process so that we can hear from the potential homeowner what types of treatments they might be thinking about so we can plan for that, so we can provide the correct amount of recessed windows for a treatment that has a lot of projection to it. We need to head those things off before it becomes an issue or becomes something that they're not able to do because of the way the house was built. Ken just referred uh, an architect to me. We had an initial short meeting with his wife and I'm looking to go back there. But if you know somebody who is like a home stager with a real estate company, 
um, or even a realtor. Um, the architects, the home builders, the uh, uh, facilities managers, these are all people that I would love to have an opportunity to talk to. I got the stop sign, so if you have any questions, see me after the meeting. I'd be glad to answer any questions. Thank you for your attention.